Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So I am on the hmm, countdown to get on the road and head on a really long road trip. I have today and tomorrow to get everything done that I need to get done before I'm gone for basically an entire week. So that includes editing videos, getting those scheduled to fill in while I'm gone. Uh, it means uh, getting all of my laundry done, which I did yesterday, but today I need to do all of my ironing or maybe tomorrow. I have today and tomorrow and it's already noon. <laughs> but what I'm about to begin is these. Over the weekend, I was gifted these two big buckets full of amazing, unsprayed with anything apples from one of the very sweet families in my Bible fellowship. And I don't really have time to completely process, um, preserve all that, these apples right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wash them, peel, core, and slice them up, and then I'm going to freeze them. And then what I think I'm going to do when I get back from Virginia is either make a big old batch of spiced apple butter or maybe some applesauce. Haven't quite decided. Maybe I'll do both. But again, I don't have time to do all of these apples right now. So I'm just going to prep them and freeze them and then I can work on them when I get back. And something like apple butter or applesauce is great uh, because the apples will have been frozen and the texture won't really matter because I'm just going to be cooking them down anyways. So, time to get to work on these. Then I have another produce item that I've got a whole bunch of that I've also got to get prepped, but first the apples. And I just want to say this. These apples have never been sprayed by anything. They aren't polished and pretty. They aren't coated with chemicals or anything like that. And you know what? Real food's imperfect, just like us. All right, so I've had this handy little device for years. Um, I bought it originally from Pampered Chef, of all things, or of all places, uh, back in my Pampered Chef days. It is very, very handy when you're needing to do multiple apples. Now, if I'm just peeling and slicing one apple, I'll just do it with a, with a paring knife, but when you've got lots of them to do, this thing is worth its weight in gold. Now these apples are really, really juicy. And so as I'm doing this, uh, apple juice kind of gets all over the board that I have this clipped to and it does drip on the floor So I put a towel down on on the uh, Floor to catch all the apple juice that drips down there. So I'm not making a huge mess. So as I'm doing this, I'm just cutting the apple slices apart and If I see any blemishes or anything like that, that's actually apple seed right there I'll just go ahead and cut those pieces out And I'm tossing 
uh, the apple slices into some cold water that's got lemon juice in it or citric acid if you've got some of that and it just keeps the apples from turning brown. All right, the first bucket of apples gave me two full gallons of apple slices. And I got one more bucket to go. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in the freezer and then get started on the rest. All right, so the apples are all peeled, cored, sliced, all that good stuff, packed up in the freezer. I ended up getting almost four gallons of apple slices from those two buckets of apples. And so right now, it's early afternoon, I'm going to finish up this last cup of coffee, make myself um, a late lunch, and then I'm going to get started on the other preservation preparation that I need to take care of before I get on the road this week. Okay, so I had my lunch. I just took two smoked sausages, split them down the middle, spread some pizza sauce over the top, gave them a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese and some provolone, popped them in the air fryer for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Easy lunch. Now I'm getting ready to start the second round of preservation preparations. Oh, 40 pounds of onions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these onions, I'm going to dice them, and I'm going to freeze them. However, I do not want to have to dice 40 pounds of onions by hand, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a shortcut. I'm going to peel these and quarter them, and then I'm going to use my handy dandy KitchenAid attachment, with the dicer uh, insert and use my KitchenAid to dice all of these onions. And you may notice a change in the audio. I had to swap out my microphone. Uh, my wireless clip-on one was not cooperating. I just charged it, so I don't know what the deal is. So I'm using my good old trusty directional microphone now. All right, so I'm pulling off the little produce stickers from all of the onions and then I'm just cutting off cutting off the ends and these onions are super super fresh I mean they are hard as rocks which is nice I ordered these from Asia Standard ordered a 40 pound case of them 
So I cut them in half and then I just take off the whole outer layer of the onion. Sometimes it's just the paper like this. Sometimes there's a little bit more of the white to it. And all of these um, scraps I'll save for making broth. They'll go in the freezer in a bag. And then the next time I make chicken broth or beef broth or, or whatever, those will go in there. They, they add flavor to the broth and they also give it a nice rich color. So cutting those into quarters. Now I actually don't know if quarters are going to be small enough. I may have, end up having to go back and cut these again to get them to fit into my attachment. Um, if I do, I do. That's fine. Because now I'm looking at my attachment over there and I don't think the opening is big enough. These are some big, big onions. start bathing these. got the first mm, about 15 pounds of onions diced. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these out on some baking sheets that are lined with parchment paper and I'm going to stick them in the freezer. All right, that is it. I am done for today. So I got only about 15 pounds of the onions put away. I froze the majority of them on baking sheets lined with parchment paper. Once they're frozen, I'll kind of break them loose, put them into freezer bags or containers. Um, I have a special purpose for those diced onions, but you will have to stay tuned for a soon coming video to find out exactly what. But that still leaves me with a ton of onions. But like I said, these onions are super, super fresh, hard as rock. So I just closed them up in their box, stuck them in a nice, cool, dark pantry. And I will put those to use for something else when I get back from Virginia. So that is it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me here in the Homestead Kitchen. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I'll talk to you all next time.